breaking news, news flash, it's on cooldown, but it's early because, oh my god, we know when the new expansion is going to be announced, not launched. This is the biggest nugget out of this week. Golden nugget. Yeah, it happened yesterday. And uh, we're going to talk about it. There has been tons of leaks up until this point. We're going <laughs> to talk a little bit about the, the, that. The season of leaks. Yeah, I mean, Blizzard just dropped a, uh, let's say, a roadmap, if you want, with a couple of announcements to be uh, announced. Is, is that how you talk, well, man? Well, I mean, it's kind of like a timeline of what's going to happen with uh, with WoW, which we kind of needed now, knowing that 9.2 is going to go for a long time. Obviously, Hearthstone as well. But, I mean, we really only care about WoW. And uh, <laughs> seeing as... How 9.2 is gonna run for a long time as we've predicted yes. and 925 is yes. probably gonna come like months later uh some people are getting anxious so you know knowing a little bit that what's going to happen with 10.0 because that's you know the next step we're not gonna have 9.3 unless you haven't heard it by now nah. so uh what are we nah. looking at man no nah, no nah. listen listen before we get into that okay before we go into all this i want to take your attention just a tad because this is really cool okay so uh, what I want you guys to do is, after you watch the video, go into the link in the description because a very fine gentleman, uh, Mr. Liam Griffin, has contacted us because he is a uh, student at the School of Design in Queensland University of Technology, that's QUT, and uh, he's doing a Master's of Philosophy into the use of Wiki as a research tool for understanding the online social relationships between players in World of Warcraft. We found that very cool. We verified the stuff is very official, it's very legit. And I think it's really nice for our community to help out a fellow, I would say player, fellow individual, fellow student, right, to get his stuff. Because a work being done on the game that we love and a research and a study is really, really cool. And he just wanted like a little bit of a helping hand to get, um, to, to talk to more or see or more people that are playing well, get involved with this. So in the description, you're gonna really have cool. a, uh, yeah, a to the flyer okay they're gonna have all the data it's like super official if you like are interested just read it through and uh, uh contact you know the contacts over there okay so let, let's just help a uh, uh, liam boy out because i think this is really really cool and can lead up to some awesome data and future possibilities of uh, understanding some of the social intricacies of wow go help liam That's after you watch cool. the video all right now let's get into on cooldown starting with the date, baby, the date. We have it on the, the World of Warcraft website, but it is on the 19th of March. What, April. April. God damn it, I said April. I know, you said, I heard it. Listen, I want it to be 19th of March, but it's 19th of April. That's the date when they are going to announce the new World of Warcraft expansion. Now- It's only five weeks away, man. Only? Five I mean, resets? It's, it's five <laughs> vaults of disappointment? I mean, you can look at that. You probably shouldn't look at it that way, but it is <sighs> pretty, I mean, it's, actually it's not that surprising if you really think about it because 9.2 is not going to last very long and we can get to the speculation of when 9.2 will end and 10.0 will start, but this, the the fact that it's been announced is surprising in the sense that we kind of expected it to be like on a gaming event, maybe, maybe. Well, they they Although, did they did say something else. They, they they did say that they will have some announcement, some w announcement based on similar stuff they did uh, in the past, like web stuff, like you know, yeah, online. Didn't chat. think like the WoW expansion would be. Yeah, one I know, of I know. To be real with you, man, I really was expecting some sort of like Gamescom, maybe you know, like the announcement. Yeah. a lot of people speculated. I, I you know, I've, I would have been not surprised if that would have happened, but a little bit sure. surprised that this was going to happen. Also, it's a little bit sooner than I expected it. If you really think about it, it's not too soon. It probably would have happened by now, um, uh, mostly probably at BlizzCon, considering how things are going. But since we didn't have a BlizzCon and we know that they've been doing uh, these patch developments uh, uh, arduously and taking a very long time because of, you know, circumstances that we are all aware of uh, by now. So... If we're going to assume that 9.2 isn't going to last for longer than a year, this is probably maybe at the latest that yeah. they could have... Uh... Let me tell you something. So, April 19, announcement, May, beta. Or, no, alpha. Alpha. This is Ooh, this is how it's going to happen. That's, that's very optimistic. I'm 100% sure that's how it's going to happen. I'm 100%. <laughs> this is this is an, an, an expansion that probably started very, very close by after the release of Shadowlands. You remember at the release of Shadowlands, they were all hands on deck with the delay of the launch of Shadowlands. So after they did that, I'm pretty that's sure they started uh, actually working. The okay. concept... 
the concept could have been earlier on, the concepts, because I know they have a bunch of ideas all the time or talking new expansions. But for this one specifically, I think they really took a very big, big, big hit. And I think, I'm speculating here, but I think the original concept that was planned after they, you know, settled out with the Shadowlands release was scrapped. I have a feeling. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. And we already know that whenever they're working on expansion, the next one is probably starting before the current one launches. Yeah. So that's not something necessarily new or surprising. That's what I'm saying. I think they switch a rule after that. Well, don't, don't you think so? I mean, I, see, let, let, me, let me work off on your idea. If you think, what, May you said it? May, May will be alpha. May, May will be alpha. That means that 9.2.5 will already be out because we're going to have to have beta for 9.25, meaning that 9.25 beta will probably start... PTR, what? you mean? PTR? Uh, like PTR, PTR, yeah. yeah. Yeah, PTR will have to at least start in uh, at the beginning of April. Oh, for sure. That, um, that's, which means that's what? that's less than a month away for the PTR for 9.25. Mm. That's that's a little bit earlier than I would have expected. I would have expected 9.25 to, to be released sometime in June, which would have meant that the PTR would have started in May. But if, if that's what you think, that means 9 to 5 is going to be way earlier, which I mean, it's all good because that's when, you know, the yeah. cross-faction stuff happens and yeah, all the cool stuff. this is the thing. They need, I mean, at this point, they need all the earliness they can get with oh, everything. I mean, the company, the, the, the game devs, you know, the players, everything needs to be early, early, early because we've been late, late, late for so much time. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good premise to go for. Now, this is interesting because, you know, they're announcing this like right after LFR opens up. So I think this is all planned along. Okay, you get the sepulchre of the first ones, braid all of that, all the this wins. Is like, this. this is like a, a high octane uh, development of, well, I mean, not necessarily content, but whatever their processes and delivering content is seemingly being sped up because I didn't expect this to be this soon. Either that which or I'm thinking about how long did Shadowlands uh, Alpha slash Beta lasted for? Like a six, couple of months. Six uh, months. A couple of months, yeah. No. It, w it was uh, a good amount of time. It was but at it was... least four months, right? Yeah, if I yeah. recall. Yeah. Yeah, because it started sometime around April ish. Uh, alpha or, or closed alpha was, closed alpha was even like, earlier maybe late march uh yeah so and then the march. expansion launched when was it uh, uh, september october, october 26th I so we would have had about four months which means that you know it is starting around the same time it's probably going to mean that the expansion will be launched around the holidays or maybe just before the holidays uh well this is the tricky part see I, i'm gonna maintain my initial uh, uh I would say position on this because we talked about this in a previous on cooldown. I I will go out there and say that although they're gonna announce the expansion and the the closed beta or whatever for you know April and May, I think the launch date will at best be in December. At 2023, you're thinking 2023. Oh my 20, god, don't say no, 2023. This year, man. This year, 2023. December 2023. No, no, no. Well, if the best date would be December. Ah, oh, right, right. No, so yeah, I'm thinking, realistically, I'm thinking January or February 2023. Yeah. Oh, but God. ideally, okay. I can but see them push it on December. I can, I can see that happening because, okay, let's be honest here. I know I know a lot of you have been saying on stream and everywhere as well that, you know, we don't, you don't want that long to be well, without an expansion, but think about how the you Alpha You think you beta. don't, <laughs> but you do. Don't, 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 don't uh, jab this, man. Don't jab this. Uh, jab, 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 jab. Uh, with with how the beta for an alpha by extension for BFA uh, um, ended up, you know, pushing out the feedback and as well with no. Shellens as well, where let's say we did feedback it and some good things did happen in Shadowlands. Let's give it credit where credit is due. Some classes were changed and specs were changed. It still wasn't enough time or at least it seemed like it wasn't enough time based on how much feedback we given and how much was actually implemented. Yep. So if we're going to assume that they're actually serious because their mentality seems to have changed so far in regards to what we're telling them that, you know, um, this is how it's working. Maybe this is how it could be working a little bit better in terms of feedback. We could expect that the beta slash Alpha would last for at least four months. At least, yes. At so least. that would be at at the very latest, uh, on, uh, very earliest, late autumn, early early winter. That's what I'm saying, man. And you, you talk about them them having the mentality change, and we definitely saw that with you know nine one five and nine two. Uh, and we always said this that the, uh, they have to maintain this, but in order to prove that they actually are aware, as they stated multiple times now uh, in in interviews and and posts and all of that, the real 
test Supreme will beat this expansion. So when yeah. they're going to announce yeah. this shit, I really hope it's not just a trailer and that's it. I really hope they go into and explain a couple of things that will be in this expansion. Let's actually, that, let's actually talk about it. What do you think they're going to they're gonna announce on the 19th? Oh, oh what, my God, what, what could are it we be Dragon see? Isles and shit? That, okay, okay. So expansion, listen, I'm going to be super happy uh, in a weird way. If it if isn't. Yeah, because everybody's, <laughs> everybody's expecting Dragon Isles. If yeah. they drop the bomb, it's like, nope. Sorry. All right, that's that's fair enough. But uh, in terms of what they will have ready for us to see, you said a yeah. cinematic and more than that. What what exactly more? Because I'm, for instance, I'm looking at. Okay, okay we're not, definitely gonna have not a Shadowlands. Cinematic. Remember Shadowlands at BlizzCon 2019? Oh, we just had we just had we, JPEGs. That that's what I'm saying. That's what so I'm expecting. we need that that fucking level of um, I'm thinking Mists of Pandaria announcement where you saw a lot of stuff presented, not everything made it in. That level of Warlords of Draenor expansion announcement where you saw a lot of the systems. Granted, not all of them came in. I want to know about the systems. I want to know about the gearing. I want to call it the system setting. and be hopeful. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's. I, I'm hoping that, because this is the thing, they're going to announce the expansion. Obviously, it's going to be a very big PR stuff, and it's going to be good PR for the ex external, uh, you know, spectators, investors, you know, or journalists, whatever. But for us, the core, the heart of this game, if they don't mm -hmm. deliver on the fact that, yeah, we understand we fucked up, this is the time for change, we're going back to that, that thing you love. If they don't capture that within this announcement it's gonna be a very because nobody's excited anymore as they used to be we're excited yeah but we're, the, the we're vibe the hype excited yes, hype and is I, not I as say, before i want to say two things to what you're saying uh, right now so first of all if the reason why 9.2 has been delayed so long and one, why 9.1 has lasted and why 9.2 will also last for a very long time is because they've really been hard at work at uh, having something of, oh, first of all, ready for us, but actually having something yeah, ready. Yeah, that and we're just stealing titty milk they'll, as they'll well. Be, they'll be really cool because, you know, I mean, there's only so much of the, oh, they're under investigation and there's a lot of oh, issues. There's that, there's like, there, there's, there's obviously that. that sucks, but there's only so much of that that as a customer I can I can express like, okay, but when is the, when are things going to, you know, start to pick up? Listen, man. And if that's what they were working so far, that's been delayed a lot of stuff, then okay, that will make a lot of sense. And that can be really cool for what we're going to have on April the 19th. And need I remind you, the second thing is, um, uh, keep coming back to this uh, a bunch of times so far, the video that uh, we made a couple of months ago with Tauli's, uh kind of leak, not leak, about things will be different. So clearly there was something that he knew. There was enough gaming content uh, for him to have an opinion about how things will be. Yeah. Meaning that April 19th is very likely to have a bunch of things for us to see instead of just JPEGs and spreadsheets. Yeah, and he went all out and say, quote me on that. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely see. Plus we have the, at least in two of the interviews where we saw Ian, they did say that they're going to go back into a more uh, grounded world into a oh more God, yes, um, yes. something that's more I would say I, I dare say classical but you know what I'm talking about you know more yeah, as a world less cosmic stuff less end of the world yeah, oh yeah state. Steve Denuso also mentioned this as well and uh, by all accounts as, as we can look at in the past situations with the Silvana stories and you know Frasiabi and all of that um, it is safe to say that in truth for you know whatever it's worth this expansion will be a hundred percent story wise the newsers baby well, as a I lot mean, of people we've we've said heard so. stories as well and i think tally uh, also made a very big video about the fact that sylvanas's storyline was a frosty uh, brainchild whether or not he well, had they different... tried to steer it as best as they yeah could. maybe yeah. maybe maybe that's true maybe it's not but the fact is that her ending being a little bit inconsistent with her character kind of makes it seem true seeing yeah. as how probably a frosty Abbey had a, something planned or maybe had nothing planned at all but definitely his team did not know exactly how her character should uh, evolve in the end kind of makes a little bit of sense so i'm happy to see something new something fresh and something different from people uh, who are actually uh, hopefully emotionally involved into creating yeah, hopefully I, a proper story i, I miss cat girl where the fuck is he? I want him back. I, I, I always loved. Kevin I mean, Arnold. listen, man. We, we were told that you know Shadowlands so Bolvard. Yeah, <laughs> just him being there and just talking and then being more present. Bolvar isn't. Remember when they talked about Shadowlands? Oh, Bolvar's gonna be the new Cadgar in, in Shadowlands. The new well, uh, that's Magni. his role. But Bol again, Bolvar he didn't is talk another... nothing. He was like, <laughs> Bolvar is not the Bolvar from uh, from Legion, man. No, no, no. I want Cadgar back. Power. He's just there, you know. And uh, if it's gonna be a grounded expansion, I'm pretty much 
much sure that they were gonna have Khadgar back. Uh, we can speculate on what the expansion could can be. Uh, obviously, everybody and their mom are talking about Dragon Isles and going back I mean, to, that's to fine. that. I mean, at this point, I don't care. I'm as just long saying. As it's a good thing. I I would love that. Don't get me wrong, but I would be I will laugh my ass off if they come come right out of the fucking blue and say nope. It's nope, nothing it's else. Mechgun and no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting when when they announce it. Uh, I'm gonna be happy either way. Just not cosmic, you know, boom, 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 all that. Just, yeah, bring it back, baby. Bring it back to something more relatable, okay? That's all that we want. World of Starcraft. S super excited about it, but there's also one other thing, okay? We we talk too much about this game, and God damn it. How about Warcraft Mobile? Because okay, that's controversial. Also, uh, Let's see. I actually really want to talk about this topic because... It's also. Uh, on the I have money. to. I have to. I have to. I have to confess to something. Um, yes. Twenty. It goes back to twenty eighteen when the BlizzCon showed Diablo Immortal. Yeah, you got excited, right? I actually <laughs> got excited for. It's like, oh my god, that's so cool. I mean, it kind of hit me when I realized. Wait, is this it? Is this like? This is, is this it. is this the Diablo Four? It's like no, 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 no. However, let's be honest here. If they're gonna do a mobile game, it's probably gonna be really cool and. Although Hearthstone wasn't necessarily intended to be a mobile game, it does work on mobile and it is kind of fun to play on your phone. It's not like they It wasn't are intended for mobile. Yeah, it wasn't intended, but, but they do have uh, the tools to make a cool mobile game. So f I am thinking maybe something like a tower defense or a roguelike or- That would be cool. Uh, the, the, like Warcraft wise, let me take my favorite. I always like, like this concept of, you know, I, I want to choose from one of 27 heroes. I'm going to keep Thrall and run him through a tower and- See how far I can uh, take Thrall and stuff like that. You know, take the concepts of Hero of the Storm and what Warcraft champions they put in and maybe have them interact in a game in an RPG manner or they, and it can be like to something totally different. I just hope it won't be like a gotcha game like Genshin Impact or some shit like that, which... That could very much be I it, my friend. I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be free to play with microtransactions. I mean, that is the marketplace and okay, let's just be fair about it. That's kind of what we're dealing with. However, I do hope that that's not going to be a, a major, major gateway into me experiencing the game if I don't pay a lot. I, I'm perfectly fine spending, I don't know, 60 bucks, even for a mobile game, I'm f if it's like a good, yeah, good, good luck, Blizzard man. game. Listen, they, it, it will it will definitely be good, okay? Quality-wise, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. Now, we don't know the uh, exact date for the reveal. It's gonna be somewhere in May. It's just a question mark over there, so we don't know for sure, but I think everybody's curious. And you mentioned about the characters, the multiple characters, and well, and when you say that, I always get reminded of the the potential they still have to make a goddamn fighting game with all of the <laughs> fucking Blizzard characters on a phone. Like no, no, no PC console, like a proper Mortal <laughs> Kombat uh, fighting game with all of the Blizzard characters. That's a space they haven't walked into, and they have so many. Like look at Heroes of the Storm. Take that roster and put it into a goddamn fighting game. Tell me you wouldn't nerd out on that. <laughs> I shit. would nerd out on Tell anything, me you would anything not. Warcraft right now. Listen, man, it, it could it could be made a hundred percent. Fatality up. sundering from Thrall with <laughs> the enemy apart. Can you imagine? Wind can Fury you just chain imagine? Lightning. It would be off the chains. But I guess we can we can wrap it up. So remember, save the dates on April the 19th. We're gonna get the new expansion for WoW. And somewhere in May, we're going to find out about the the Warcraft mobile game as well. Oh, there's also on March 15, you know, the Hearthstone expansion. I don't know how many of you are interested, but yeah, it, it's uh, there. That's that's a thing. Yeah. And also, yeah, on March 18, uh, the Arena World Championship begins, which is going to be really interesting to see with the new tier sets and all of the trinkets and all oh that. Oh my God, it's going to be stuff. crazy. So it's going to be Windwalkers one-shotting people again. We'll see. We'll Not see. Windwalkers. No, no, RMP is going to dominate. But... Spring 2022 for Warcraft is looking good. We really hope you enjoyed this. If you yeah. do, let us know in the comments what are you excited about, what your speculation is, when it's going to, be, when it's going to release. Is it going to be Dragon Isles? That's what I want to know. Uh, this is what, uh, what you think. But the most important question is, when is it going to be available? When are they going to release the game? My money is, is on December, uh, ideally. Yeah, it's November, December for me as well. Realistically, I see it as January, February. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Uh, but before you do that, please take a moment to thank our patrons as we do on every single video because they are supporting every month all the content that we do here. It's been amazing supporting the class guides, the Moncast podcast, much. the On Cooldown, the TLFs. You guys rock. It's beautiful. And uh, Flame. We love you. And uh, dear viewer, if, uh, 
you aren't convinced yet, but you like our content Ooh. and you want to see more about this because, uh, you know, YouTube is kind of shaky. You can definitely check the Patreon link down below and support us on Patreon. If you like it, you can check. We have a couple of tiers. You can see bloopers and we'll get wallpapers and stuff like that, depending on what you want. And if you decide to support us, we will be very grateful and appreciative. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember about the survey and the research on the description. Don't okay? forget. Bye-bye. See you later. I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild well. Still, I play wild well. Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild well. Still, I play wild well. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild well.